So this is an interesting section oh, no. of the demo. Goodbye, Quill. I missed the jump. So this is Goodbye. a really interesting way. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not how you do this, this puzzle. Is, no, I'm pretty sure that was it. Do it a couple more times to, to make sure. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to PlayStation Underground. Very special episode today. We are playing Moss on PlayStation VR, developed by the team at Polyarch in Seattle. And here is Quill, our little hero waking up. Aww. Yes, Kristen, thank you for joining me yeah, on today's of episode. Thanks welcome. For me. Uh, Justin, Justin's rocking the PlayStation <laughs> VR headset over there. Hey, hey. Uh, hi, Quill. Hi, Quill. Quill. Hey, little buddy. Uh, Hi. So for those that don't know, Moss is a gorgeous adventure game uh, slash puzzle game, a little bit of both. Um, we are, well, we as the player are one of the characters. And uh, we spoke to Polyarch earlier and kind of got some of their design philosophies and what's right. important for them in this game. And one of those things is ensuring that you, the player, are actually a character in this world. You're not just a passive observer. You are the reader, or in other words, a spirit that is participating in this story. So that is, Justin is our reader. Justin, you do love to read. I know I, this is a fact. Yeah, totally. Facts that may not be true. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, and uh, <laughs> Quill is our little adventurer who is uh, going to be uh, checking out a, a section in the game, not quite the beginning of the game. We are a little ways in. Right. Um, you'll notice we saw a giant statue at the beginning of I this know. demo. Uh, that may or may not hint at a race of giants that once occupied the world. Oh what, my gosh. What could that mean? Is that piquing your interest in lore and story, Kristen? I think everything going around <laughs> right now is <laughs> piquing my interest, especially just all oh, look at little Quill with her little sword. I know. She is amazing. Um, I do think it's interesting, though, that she's sort of exploring this 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 world around her that is so much bigger than she is. Exactly. Um, and scale is an important part of Moss. And Justin, you are directly controlling rolling quill and you are also uh, almost the camera as well that's, correct? that's right so you obviously can kind of look around and get really close to things and check mm -hmm. them out i'm controlling quill using the left stick and the x button and the square <laughs> button here um and then you can also actually move this orb here by moving the dual shock four mm -hmm. and i can grab things and manipulate them to help solve puzzles and help quill get through the different rooms here and that's one of the key things about this game is that you have to help Quill solve the puzzle. She can't quite do everything just on her own. Exactly. And that is another you know, design pillar of the Polyar team is making this world alive um, and making specifically Quill is a living character, a living, breathing character that has personality and inhabits this world. Um, you will soon see that uh, she is also a handy combatant as well. <laughs> Uh, well, if Justin is up for the task, but Especially he will see. Empty boxes. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay, I see what to do here. Oh, you've, he's got it. He's got, I got it. I got this. So I would like to just call attention to the uh, excellent animation here. Mm -hmm. Like, as Quill climbs up these ledges, I really loved it when I was over here and I climbed up. She just kind of, like, mantled up on top oh. of that little roll. Yes, I didn't notice that, yeah. The animation in this game, it, and, like, it combines with mm -hmm. the controls to just feel super good to to move around and kind of jump around these these puzzles and these environments and justin if i here do this jump first but if i could have you look up at that cliff side you will see um that oh. that castle or that item there on the cliff side that may or may not be a, a location that mm -hmm. we are we and are striving working for our way towards. Uh, yeah working our way towards and so. i have i have to call attention to you can't see this in the video but just the sense of depth here is incredible mm -hmm. it looks so far away that and even just looking down here yeah. the beach over there looks like it's way off in the distance this looks like a like an actual world that i'm inside here it's kind of nuts well that's Play playstation vr in a nutshell kind of nuts <laughs> Oh, man, I did it again. Okay. <laughs> Justin, so, you have one more chance. You distracted me, and I okay, forgot I'm what sorry, I'm I sorry. had figured out. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot what I figured out. <laughs> shh, 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 Okay, okay, okay. Leave me alone. All right. I'm, I'm doing it. Okay, you got it. I'm you doing got the thing. It. And now you go. raise it up. So now mm -hmm. we go here, and then mm -hmm. we go, huh! Aha. Uh -huh. ah. yeah. And hut, and Break and these hut. boxes for Break good the boxes. measure, because that's what you do. Well, another thing, Kristen, is that, in, huh. you know, this build is, we're not playing the full game right now. This is, you know, work in progress, but... Uh, oh. In the final game, there will be collectibles. Oh, because, nice. of course, if Quill's got to have something to collect. Makes a lot of sense. Oh, yeah. I mean... She deserves it. Yeah, <laughs> she does. She deserves all the collectibles. Uh, what is this mess? Justin, we're about to see some enemies, perhaps. Oh, this may be a spoiler for the build, but 
Surprise. Oh boy. Enemies! Oh, oh my, my goodness, <laughs> what is going on? Oh, dangerous. Uh. Look out, Justin. Uh. Oh, they okay. explode. So check this out, you can hit them and then do a quick roll out of the way. Okay. Check and roll. I, I think you can actually also grab them. Oh, oh and nice. You can do it that way. Yep. Beautiful. Well done, Justin. Oh, okay, there's more. Oh yeah, there's so. a bunch more. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Ooh, a different one. So there is a little, so these little tickers, I'm going to call them because there is a chance that that's their oh, real no. name. Oh, I got hit. Pretty sure. Uh, but that is another example of something that Polyarch wanted to talk about um, on our show today. But oh no, the names of the enemies and the enemies in general they represent a real danger to oh, the inhabitants man. of this yeah, world. Yeah, that got hairy. Like, uh, look, a real danger, right? <laughs> so just pretend Let's that Quill is totally fine. Um, she gives. Look she, at her. She's she's back in action, but. Ticker, for example, that name implies kind of how Quill, as a character in this world, perceives these threats around her, right? right? So these aren't just, they meet, these enemies may look small to us, giant her. human beings, but for our little buddy Quill, they are, you know, large life-size threats um, that are actually putting her life at risk. And Justin's life at risk, too, yeah. because he's in the middle of the battle. Putting my pride at risk. Dude, it's fine. This is the old second time in the world you've played this, so I'm going to give you all the credit. And the little beetles. The beetles, crabs, ants? I don't know. They look more like beetles. Okay. They got, that be they got that beetle shell on the back. So, yeah, this the combat in Moss. Yeah, it looks no really joke. smooth. Yeah, Ooh. no joke. There's there's some danger to be to be fought here. To survive. I, I like the strategy, though, of like pulling one enemy to, to destroy Oh, the Justin, one. watch out. I'm good. I'm good. I like how Justin used the entry point the enemies took as a hideaway. <laughs> Very, just rub it right in their face. I had to get away from them. Yeah. You got to do what you got to do to survive. Uh, okay, so Quill, here now. Quill is okay. She made it. She can get on the <laughs> that little roll. Little roll. I love it. <laughs> yep. And so you can see that we're kind of obstructed here. I'm just kind of leaning over to see mm -hmm. where I'm going here. Mm -hmm. Very right, much a game right that there. occupies the 3D space, especially when you're in uh, a VR headset. Oh, here we go. Mm. Shimmy along here. Also, I want to point out that for those that maybe are a little uncomfortable in more kinetic VR experiences, I feel like this is totally designed for that kind of player. Yeah. Because Justin is not, you know, the reader is not actually moving, only your head movement. Yeah. It's, you know, definitely designed to be a comfortable experience for people of all experience ranges with, yeah. with virtual reality. I don't know how you fare in uh, the world of VR. I, I definitely prefer where it, there's not so much like swiveling of your head. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think that this is a really good mix of that, where you Moss can sort of is right for you. yeah, you can sort of see everything that's happening, but at the same time, there's there's a lot of movement and there's a lot of being able to take in the entire environment. And really, like Justin said, being able to lean in, I think, is really cool, mm -hmm. and being able to get up nice and close, um, tuck into little corners. So this is an interesting section. Oh no! Of the <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> Quill. I missed the jump. So this is Goodbye. a really interesting way. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not how you do this. This puzzle. is no. I'm pretty sure that was it. Do it a couple more times to, to make sure. Uh, oh. This oh, no. is a puzzle room Ooh. in our our little vertical slice yeah, of the you game. Yeah, see all these little mechanisms. And we are going to uh, have Justin try and figure his way through. Um, we practiced with this room before. It <laughs> it actually was a puzzle, and we oh. we needed to kind of think our way through. Um, so as you can see, there's some moving platforms right. here. Quill can navigate between here. The ticker keeps <laughs> coming out. I'm going to keep using that name, and yeah. I will confirm at a later time that that's what they're called. That's what my notes say. Because uh, they look like ticks. Yeah. Get it? It's in the name. Something a, a wee mouse would be worried <laughs> oh, about. A wee mouse. <laughs> I think that's a little. Does she have Let's a little go. backpack? It looks like it. Let's bring this guy over here. Oh, what are you doing, Justin? Whoa, what sort of tomfoolery are you doing over here? Oh, I see. Bam! Look at that. <laughs> see that action? There we go. Okay. I get, I'm getting nervous every time Justin drops Ju down I know, into I that know. section. I know, I know. I was about to say, I was like... <laughs> 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 That's the only time I've ever missed that. So. Y'all got a special taste of Justin failing. Okay. Yeah. When Justin go. leans, I start to lean, too. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, we could get... Yep. Mm -hmm. Checking out over here. Can I? I'll get into the, the viewing <laughs> experience with him. Okay. Um, let's. Mm -hmm. let's work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Look out for that ticker, Justin. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> Look out. He's a danger. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> <laughs> He's a big old danger. Okay, so oh. this is interesting. I'm actually trying to like, I'm holding this and I'm also manipulating Quill at the same uh, time. So nervous, I'm nervous. I'm doing two things at once here. Oh, there, oh, there, oh, go. there we go. Okay. Glad Justin remembered how to do that because I do not remember how <laughs> this room works. I'm also kind of just refiguring it out as, yeah. as I go here. And just another handy little ticker. Wait, so was this one the up and down? Uh, no. The other one was. Okay, I don't need to go there yet. I need to go... Get that so lever. Get that guy over here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I also really love games like Moss that give you a little slice of a world, like mm -hmm. a fantasy world with its own backstory yeah. and its own, you know, like, where does Quill come from? Yeah. Where are all the other little mouse I adventures? Like if it's I must like know. Lived in and it feels alive. It feels mm -hmm. like its own space. Oh, no. I don't need to go. Oh, yeah. That. So that's how Justin exits the room at the oh, end of okay. the puzzle. Oh. But we need to access the other lever first, I think. Yeah. Ooh. Look at that. I am so glad I'm not the Just one playing. Just jumping onto the lever. <laughs> Good job, Quill. Yeah. Good job, Quill. Do not jump. Oh, look, she Careful. went back. Oh. Hi. Oh, Quill. Quill, you're the best. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. I think uh, the guys at Polyarch said that that is one way to actually uh, give her some life back. Oh. If you get hit, you can kind of pet her to. Okay. You're oh. like, hang in there, little bud. Oh, my gosh. Yes. <laughs> the best. So cute. Uh, Justin, please do not die. <laughs> <laughs> you're so close. I got this. Yeah, and then we do. Yeah, she made we it. did it. Oh, Hooray! Wait. Oh man, I didn't break the boxes. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, good job. Hooray, Quill! Thank you for your valiant efforts. Up, up, We're and going. away. Bye. No, no, don't leave yet, you, the viewer. I was just waving to Quill, if that wasn't <laughs> abundantly clear. All right, so next room. We're almost out of this mine-like lots facility. More, lots more boxes to break, though. <laughs> I think this one is Always. pretty straight forward. I think you just have to pull that there lever. That did a thing. Mm hmm I mean, it certainly did it. I felt a clickety-clack. Just wander your way up there. Oh, yeah, ooh, go hello. There. Hello, what's behind here? So not a whole lot now. I wonder if there might be something yeah. there in the final build of the game. It'll be rife with collectibles <laughs> during the, in the final version. But for now, we can just kind of like go out here. Oh, which uh, we can say is uh, the final version of Moss is scheduled currently for February of 2018, so which is this year. Right around the corner. Mm -hmm. Well, you right were just the corner. cutest. Hi, you Quill. Know. Hi, Quill. Quill! <laughs> <laughs> Quill! She's like, okay, You're bye. A mouse. <laughs> She's like, yeah, okay, She's like this guy freaks me out. Already. <laughs> Ooh. Mm, interesting. Oh, like a castle. Interesting. But it's quiet and somewhat desolate, too. What does Quill have to think about that? Justin, get right in there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, true. So, so Polyarch <laughs> mentioned that Quill actually communicates to the reader, to the player yeah. in American Sign Language and ASL. So, oh, wow. Yeah. So How it cool is, is that? Yeah, so she's, That's amazing. she's referencing that she recognizes this environment and perhaps this is uh, a home place for her people of, oh, wow. of mouse adventurers, you know, oh, you only the, the most grass. distinguished. You can cut the grass. Uh, so we're coming yeah. up on the end of the demo here, Kristen. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this was a look at Moss on PlayStation VR, available February 2018. Uh, Kristen, Justin, thank you guys so much for showing off maybe one of the world's cutest adventuring <laughs> mice. Uh, so if you want to go on this adventure with Quill and uncover the secrets of this world, look for Moss on PlayStation VR, and we will see you next time on PlayStation Underground. PlayStation.